And it is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS, AM 1160, 101.1 FM. Our conversation this morning with Lawrence Jackson, the author of Yes, We Did, is presented and protected by Marcus and Mack, Attorneys at Law. And we're so grateful that you're with us here today. Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. Lawrence Jackson, good morning. You are a former official White House photographer in the Obama White House. And you put out this wonderful book, of photos and behind-the-scenes stories celebrating Barack Obama and his presidency, and what a job you have done. Thank you for doing this, number one. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me, and I appreciate that. Tell me the story of how it was that you came to be an official White House photographer. Uh, Well, that would be election night 2008, November 4th, 2008, and um, I was working for the Associated Press, and uh, I was covering the White House that night. And once the election was called for President or President-elect Obama, um, there was this commotion in Lafayette Park, which is just north of the White House. And you know, being a photojournalist and news guy, I got my camera gear and I went out there and I covered the the commotion, which was you know a bunch of GW students and eight uh, American University students. Uh, celebrating the fact that we just elected our first African American president, and and the energy was infectious and just kind of crazy. Um, I took my pictures and then I I went back to the White House and I filed them to the office. Then after filing them, I got my gear together and I'm, I'm going home. And I I walk back through Lafayette Park, and at this point it's probably 1 a.m. And as I'm going to my garage, there's a guy to my left, a black guy about 20 feet to my left and we're walking we're getting closer and closer to each other and finally we're like within eyesight of each other and he said to me can you believe it and i look at him and i say i know right hmm. and and this complete stranger you know and and i had this connection and i just knew i just i felt my i felt that i had to at least apply to be uh the chief photographer for, for the white house so i did and and you didn't get it, but later on you were actually hired. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah. And I, later on, I was asked to be a staffer. So you form this uh, very familiar bond with the Obama family, and I have to tell you that my favorite moments of the book are those moments where President Obama is talking with kids. Um, I'm looking right now at page 55, which I think is my favorite. Um, my favorite to photograph in the entire book where he's bending down and he's mm-hmm. listening to the daughter of a departing Secret Service agent in the Oval Office and she's having this conversation with him. He has a real connection to children, doesn't he? Oh, he does. He really does. And, and that's one of the reasons why we put in the book uh, a couple pages with him just kind of interacting with kids. And the First Lady as well. They just had this um, uh, affinity for kids and just it, it was you know, in, in fact, you know, some days when they were days were long, their staff would try and get kids in front of them at some point just to brighten their day. That's how much they love being around kids. We're, we're talking with Lawrence Jackson. The book is called Yes, We Did, Photos and Behind-the-Scenes Stories Celebrating Our First African-American President. And the foreword is by Barack Obama. That must have meant so much to you. I can't tell you how uh, honored and, and touched I was by him writing those words because you know, it's one thing to to be told that you appreciate your service, and but it's another thing for you know for him to take the time to to write those words and 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 be a part of the book. Yeah, absolutely. The house itself and the grounds of the White House they become a star again. We see this fag- magnificent place uh, that is the People's House, and the the Obamas are certainly celebrated as such. Uh, what was it like for you to go to work every day in that place? Um, it was, well, if you do it too many times, you kind of become numb to the situation, if mm-hmm. you know what I mean. You, mm-hmm. you see, you know, you live outside of the, uh, the White House and you see the Washington Monument, then you, you stop looking at it after a while. Um, but when I was, you know, in the Oval Office by myself setting up a light or the dip room by myself, you know, doing something, and it was really quiet and, you know, no one else was around, that's when my appreciation and my, my imagination and my thoughts kind of just went off to, to places like, you know, John F. Kennedy was once here in this room, and or Richard Nixon was, 
you know, taping this conversation in this room. And, you know, that's, I know it sounds crazy, but that's when it's kind of become special. Yeah, one of the things about the book that I enjoy as well is in capturing photos where the subjects are are people of today's age. You can look on the walls behind and you can see the history in the portraits on the walls. And uh, and then there yeah. are there are times when, uh, for instance, another of my favorite photographs is on page 61 where uh, Michelle Obama is talking with Carolyn Kennedy Schlossberg, who was a little girl in that right. same White House. And what a historic moment that is. You're exactly right. That's what I'm talking about. It's just amazing. Tell me about the writing in the book, too, because you are more than just a uh, a wonderful photographer. You've got a skill as a writer as well. Oh, well, you're being very kind. I appreciate that. Yeah, uh, the writing part was, you know, as a photographer, probably my, my hardest uh, part of this. And uh, I have to give credit to my editor, Mary and Lizzie, who helped, you know, shape the words and help kind of focus my 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 meanings. But, um, you know, if you're just, if you're speaking from the heart and, you know, telling stories that, you know, that are special to you, it's not that, that hard. It's, you know, you want it to be relevant and, and somewhat entertaining to people. And, and that's what we try to do. You have some wonderful essays in the book as well from some of the principals of the Obama White House. And uh, uh, we get to read their thoughts as well. I want to ask you about this because um, as you go through the book and you see uh, some of the off uh, maybe off-the-page type of photographs, the things that aren't official, just uh, casual photographs of the president and his family in action and some of the others at the White House. Uh, There is also the opportunity for us to be in, sit in a little bit on some of the history of it and and see some of the key moments in the Obama White House uh, where you had the privilege of taking photographs. Uh, Of course, you weren't right in there in the Situation Room all the time, uh, but to take part in in those and to see the people who are the decision makers for the United States must just be an awesome moment for you. Yeah, you know, it, it was. I would say, you know, you're right. Being a part and watching uh, government in action up close. Uh, you know, you're sitting in the, a meeting in the uh, Roosevelt Room and the president saying, you know, how can we help? Uh, how can we best help people in this situation? You know, with this legislation and with this executive order. Uh, it's pretty special, and you know, I I really have to hand it to the people that I work with uh, for those eight years, all the civil servants and the uh, military people. They they did their job, and they really were trying to make things better. And your photojournalism skills kick in as well. For instance, uh, the uh, the Dylan Roof episode. He was the man who murdered uh, nine African American church members in Charleston, South Carolina, and you were there. Uh, as the president yeah. was watching this unfold, uh, uh, that moment that you capture the tension in the photographs so very, very well. It really was uh, a moment in time for the president and for all of those staff members. Uh, that as one of those crystallizing moments of a presidency. Yeah, yeah, and the thing I remember most about that that moment is just how um, the president was focused, calm, and just uh, kind of you know. Did the, did the next thing after the other in terms of crafting a uh, response, uh, delivering a message to the American people, getting the information from uh, his national security advisor, you know, one, two, three, and it just, um, it was it was cool for me to watch, but it was just, you know, just another sign that um, he was doing his best. President Obama reflexes his introduction, and we get to see the photographic evidence of it as well, of what a tremendous family uh, this is and uh, how much they enjoy each other's company, what it means to them to be president, first lady, and first daughters, if you will. Uh, But just uh, the family aspect of uh, this particular family and their moment in history, uh, it's, it's a pretty touching thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's, there are a few pictures in there that, that kind of remind you of that. One is where the first lady's on uh, a government plane with her daughters, and just the they're laughing and joking, and she's just kind of looking on. And you know that's you know that's a typical mother daughter daughter relationship uh, in any family, but it just happens to be on a government plane, and it happens to be the first lady of the United States. Um, so I, that and you know. There's so many other moments in the book like that that just remind me, and hopefully it reminds the viewers and readers that um, as 
big and, and important as their roles were. They were just uh, two parents of two beautiful young daughters. Yeah, and the, one of the things we get to do through the course of the book, of course, is watch those young daughters grow up. They were little girls who turned oh, into man. young, young yeah. women by the time by the time the presidential uh, service was over. Yeah, uh, there's one picture towards the end where uh, uh, Malia is coming home from school, and she's a tall, beautiful young lady, and she's talking to the president and uh, Rahm Emanuel, and it kind of encapsulates uh, encapsulates the, uh, the, the 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 transgression of the. Uh, the transformation from these little girls to young ladies. Yeah, well, I'm, I happen to be looking at that picture as you said that. <laughs> so we're on the same page here about that. It's just a wonderful read, and it's one of those books you can go back to again and again. It's called Yes, We Did by Lawrence Jackson. Lawrence, where can people catch up with you, learn about you, see some of your work, and, and most importantly, get this book? Okay. Uh, well, uh, Instagram, uh, my handle is uh, Jack Images. And um, and I have a website, uh, jacksonimages.com. And what I'm doing now these days is uh, I'm freelancing, and I've been uh, doing a little work for a couple of the campaigns, uh, Warren, Buttigieg, and uh, Biden. And right now, where you can get the book, you can get it anywhere. Local bookstores are great, Amazon, Barnes & Noble. You just type in, yes, we did, and it will give you a place. Beautiful, beautiful. Lawrence Jackson, thanks so much for spending some time with us today. Congratulations on the book. It really is an achievement. We appreciate your time. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it.